We're heading into week seven and the Seahawks return home to the best fans in the NFL with a five and one record. This week they play a very tough team in the Baltimore Ravens who are four and two on the season. We have a real challenge going against these guys. This is a really it's a really good football team and you guys could appreciate I think why I appreciate them. You know they, they uh, have a great commitment to the running game. They have a great commitment to playing tough defense, very aggressive on defense, and their special teams are as good as we can, we'll, we'll see all year. Uh, and so they, they give you a really well-balanced, well-rounded football team that plays tough and physical and all that. Um, and they make it really difficult on you. It's, it's, they're a hard team to beat. Coach Carroll is not exaggerating. The Ravens offense is good, best in the NFL to be exact, averaging over 450 yards of offense per game. Led by second year quarterback Lamar Jackson, who is effective with his arm and extremely dangerous with his legs. He just knows how to get out of the pocket. He knows how to make people miss. Uh, you know, it's, it's plays where, um, you know, you think somebody got him, he stops on a dime does a spin move, something, and uh, it's just amazing, you know, to, to watch. But, uh, you know, it's been a lot of spectacular runners, and I think you just got to find a way to hit them. And so that's what we're going to try to do. A guy like that who can extend plays, make plays, and, and use his feet the way he does, you got to put him in a, a spot he's not used to, you know, keeping him in that box, keeping him in a circle to the point where he can't run outside and extend plays. You know, um, in the back end, we're going to win our one-on-one -on -one battles. You know, we're going to take on the receivers. You just got to win your battles. That's it. And um, I feel like that front seven is going to do exactly what they always been doing, you know, keeping them quarterback contained, putting pressure on them, and have Lamar Jackson make those tough decisions. The Ravens run offense ranks fourth in the league with Jackson leading the team in rushing yards. Many of his rushing yards are on designed run plays for him. He has the eighth highest rushing yards in the league and is complemented by another talented running back in Mark Ingram, who leads the team with seven touchdowns. Ingram runs as tough as, as anybody will face, and their, and their offense sends them right downhill, right at you. So you got to be ready to, to tackle, and there's going to be a lot of tackles guys have to make on one-on-one -on -one situations because everybody will be fitted up in the defenses, and, and uh, they'll force us to gap it out, and it'll happen like that. So guys have to tackle really well as well as being in the right spots. With the Ravens offense that runs exotic plays and can attack you from the air or on the ground, it will be extremely important that the defense is disciplined on Sunday. We have to be really disciplined and really know where the ball is going to go because I think they have so many different styles of runs. They pull to the left and run to the right. Uh, they do pullers and throw the ball. Uh, they do so many different styles of play, so you just got to really be on the film study, really be on what they want to do in certain, you know, we weren't, when we run certain fronts, and, you know, we have to really be in our keys because it's a really important week for us to be on our keys. One big plus for the Seahawks defense this week is the return of defensive tackle Jaron Reed. Reed is coming off his most productive year yet, recording 10 and a half sacks last season, giving the Seahawks pass rush a major boost. Getting a guy like that back, knowing the impact he has on the game, the impact he has on other players is uh, very strong. So getting him back is um, is really uh, really boost for a big boost for us. He's he's been such a key part of our our defense, um, not just his play but his leadership. Uh, to just have that back and have him back to provide some pass rush, to provide some you know in plays in the backfield. It's going to be huge for us. Looking at the Ravens defense, they rank fourth in the league in stopping the run, but the big talk is going to be with their secondary and two players that Seattle fans are very familiar with, safety Earl Thomas and the recent signing of cornerback Marcus Peters from the Rams. There's definitely some faces that we know, obviously Earl, um, but you know, Earl's, Earl's a Hall of Famer. You know, he's one of the best players to ever do it. Um, you know, he's a guy that you got to get prepared for and understanding how he plays and he's very, he's very smart. He, he studies like crazy. He's just he's a great football player. You know, he, he makes the plays and so got to be ready for him. And then obviously, uh, as you mentioned, Marcus too, you know, him coming from the Rams to there, you know, uh, you know, so he, he's, he's a great player. He's always been great, you know, in his career. So um, they got, like I said, they got a, a plethora of guys who play too as well that are, that are really, really talented. Um, and so it's going to be a tough game and you know, they, do, they do everything well. This is only the fifth meeting between these two teams. The Seahawks dropped the first two meetings against the Ravens, but have won the last three straight. Well, kickoff is set for 1.25 p.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on Q13 Fox or, as always, listen to it on the Seahawks Radio Network.